everyone welcome back to the channel well today we have the installers coming to check and make sure that we've done everything before they come to install the fireplace uh, underneath the tarp here I'll, I'll pull the tarp and show you Built the frame. Let me come grab the camera. So we we built the frame. Somebody accidentally grabbed the wrong size boards, and I I had it pre-cut. So they're two by eights and two instead of two by ten. And what I did was I just added plywood board. I'm still going to put one more underneath there, even though it'll be overkill, but as you can see, that's what I did there. And then I've cut a piece of plywood. Get this in place. So, a piece of plywood is cut. It's pretty sturdy already. Um, so that will be there. And then I have the backer board right here that I'll, I'll cut in a little bit. And it will go underneath here. And then we're still waiting on the tile that... Uh, Ah, uh, the the uh, tile to come in should be coming in here maybe Monday of next week I'm thinking and I've got some markings over here and I'll have to take the square and draw some lines um, and so we're I'm going to come up to to this point all the way across here remove this and put backer board there and we'll have tile all the way across the front and down the sides here and, and you know down the side here and then we have bigger sheets that will go on on top and then on the sides I'm I'm just using a uh, a board and we, we haven't decided what kind of stain and what will happen, I'll use this little piece as an example. <clears throat> you can see this board will represent a, uh, a um, ten, no, uh, a 12-inch piece, and I'll have to cut down. As you, as you can see, there's a little lip over here. Oops, let me get it over here. As you can see... There's a little lip, and so the tile will come right up to this board, and it'll be a nice trim. So hopefully, I'm not sure if I had it, but I'll point it out again. We got the electrical outlet installed. That wasn't too uh, too too bad. Not too expensive, but. Uh, Give a shout out to if you're in the Green Bay, Wisconsin area to uh, Burrish Electric. And um, they're the ones that came here and installed that wire. Hopefully it's in the right place. We'll see when the um, installers come here for the pre-inspection. All right, let me get set up to cut out the cement board. I had to set a fan up into... Uh, the fireplace area because then it's down here spray painting you got fumes in here and they're actually going upstairs so I put the 
fan in there to help exhaust the fumes up and out the chimney. The easiest way that I can think of to cut this out, now granted, yes, we could take some measurements, but on each one of the corners over here and here, I had to uh, kind of cut it out to make it fit tight up against the fireplace. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my handy dandy tool here and I'll just scrape along each side and then uh, cut enough and it'll fall out. I may add some music in here and speed this up a little bit, but you got the tool right on the edge. It's step set on the plywood so it doesn't move. And just scrape. All right, this could take a while, so I'm gonna turn the camera off. And when I get done, I'll turn it back on. Whew, all right, we cut through that. Um, I'm, I'm sure that there's easier ways to do that. I'm not sure if, if I mentioned about this tool. What this tool is really is just a, um, um, a grout remover. So if you, you know, in between your tiles or what have you, to say for example, tedious as it is and depending on how thick your grout is you could actually change out the color of your grout just by using the scraper get all the grout out of there vacuum it up and redo your grout if you wanted to so we got it done if, if uh, it's not too bad getting through the first few layers but on the back side um, there's like a fiberglass here and so you'll we'll have you know you have the fiberglass in the in the front and the fiberglass on the back and and then the uh, cement board in between the fire fiberglass once you get through all those and it's it's all all nice all right um i'm gonna reset myself Get over by the fireplace. Now that we have the cement board cut out, I've got my platform in place. Everything. I'm not going to uh, screw this down yet because I want to wait until they come and check everything out from EarthSense, the uh, installers, when they get here. And so I'm just going to set it in place. So we have the piece of plywood. And then we'll have our cement board. So the cement board is in place. And if you look, there should be just enough room for the tile to sit there and that that will be flush with that base for the uh, fireplace so i am done for right now and um once the uh, earth sense guys get here i'll ask them if i can record if not i'll just give a summary of what they said hey everybody well it's the next day and yesterday, unfortunately, the pre-stall inspection people weren't able to, to come and do their inspection. They were held up on another job. So that detail is going to have to be put off until May 1st. So they'll come and do that. And, and as I said in the video, I will attempt to record it if they allow it. If not, I'll just give a brief description of what happened. So with that being said, we're gonna end the video. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later on the next one. Goodbye, have a good day. Get out and enjoy the outdoors.